everybody welcome back to my channel we are going to be doing a part two to five haunted places i picked from arizona if you haven't seen part one i will link it down in the descriptions down below so you could check it out before we get started if you could hit that like button share this video out and if you're new here hi welcome make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload from me now let's get into it. So the first one I'm going to be sharing with you guys is one in particular that I would love to go and visit myself. It is the Oliver House. It is a two-story bed and breakfast dating back to the early years of the 20th century. It is a favorite place for ghost hunters everywhere due to its bloody history. Per local lore, the former boarding house has been the site of numerous murders, steaming from cases of adultery. One particularly grisly tale involves a cop who blew away his cheating wife and her lover in the 1920s before going on to slaughter more than a... Before going on to slaughter more than a dozen throughout the building. Over the years, guests who have stayed here have heard unusual occurrences as doors and shutters closing, footsteps in the hallways, and gunshots. Number two that I'm sharing is the Hotel Monte Vista. Many a celebrity has laid their heads at this historic Flagstaff hotel. The celebs are nowhere near as colorful as its rogues gallery of resident spirits. Though according to the hotel's website, spirits like the Meat Man, a regular guest who, who'd hang raw meat from chandeliers in his room, or the late bank robber who bled to death in the Monte Vista downstairs cocktail lounge in the 1970s. Supposedly haunt the place. There's also the phantom bellboy, an infant who cries out regularly in the building's basement, and the spirit of an elderly woman that reportedly can be seen in a rocking chair near the window on the third floor. Number three is going to be Thornton Road Domes. There's an airy aura surrounding the unusual looking UFO shaped concrete structures lo located on a five acre patch of desert terrain off Interstate 8 south of Casa Grande. Vacant since the early 80s when a now California electronics manufacturer constructed the buildings for office space and a factory. The so-called Thornton Road domes have become a curiosity for many and a gallery for graffiti artists. Some of the spooky stories sprung up in the recent years about shadowy figures scurrying about the property, slamming car doors, kicking around rocks, or unleashing dynamic sounding screams and it looks like it says that the Pino, Pino I think I'm saying the right, county has ordered the demolition of the domes. I could not find anything online if they were or if they're still there but this one I had to add in because I have seen before these domes on TV and also in ma a few magazines so i had to share this one hopefully it's still there if not we'll have the memories of the stories and of course number four we had to add in a prison this is gonna be the arizona state prison complex death sentence has been carried out Death sentences have been carried out the Florence prison since 1910. 
According to the Arizona Department of Correction website, roughly 100 inmates have been executed during the past century inside the confines of the state's first Who's Go in Florence, either by hanging, lethal injection, or a trip to the gas chambers. So it shouldn't come to a surprise that both inmates and guards have witnessed misshaped as humans forms or hearing screams and strange sounds throughout the prison. And number five is going to be the Northern Arizona University's Morton Hall. The near century old women's dormitory on the grounds of the Northern Arizona University is said to be haunted by the forlorn spirit of a heartbroken student named Kathy, who supposedly hanged herself in, this, in a stairwell during a winter break back in the early 1950s. Depending on who's telling the story, she was either abandoned by her family or she was abandoned by her family or had a boyfriend in the armed forces who died in combat. Over the, dec over the decades, the alleged apparition has been blamed for phenomena including lights flickering, radios and televisions malfunctioning, posters flying off the walls, and blankets being pulled off beds. So that is going to do it for this week's video of 500 places that I picked from Arizona. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you haven't seen part one, I will link it down in the descriptions down below so you can go ahead and watch it. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you want a part three of anywhere, it could be anywhere, doesn't just have to be Arizona, this was just requested. Let me know in the comments and I will research it and see what other haunted places I can find to share with you all. Now, when it comes to Arizona, if you're not into the haunted places, there is a ton of history there, a ton of beautiful sceneries, amazing sunsets, beautiful hiking trails with beautiful scenery, So, and of course the Grand Canyon. So even if you don't want to do the haunted part, there is so much more things to do there. So let me down, know down in the comments down below if you've ever been to Arizona, if you want to go, or if you want to check out some of the places that I've shared. Thank you so much for watching my video and supporting me. I love you all so much, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!